These are a bunch of CDs, huh? Yeah, I used to work at a Christian bookstore in college. And a lot of people would send their demos in. And they knew that I loved music, so I would get to preview them. Huh. Yeah, I've never heard of any of these groups. There's a lot of really great stuff in here. But these people never got exposure, so no one's ever heard of them. So, why are you bringing all these in today? Oh, I just ran across the box in my closet. So, I figured I'd bring them in and see if there was anything that we could use in the show or just listen to. Hmm. That sounds good. What is it? Nothing. You okay? Yeah. Huh. Nothing, I'm fine. It's just uh, the CD brought back some memories. Okay. Well, I guess I should get to work. Hey guys. Hey Sid. Hey guys. <laughs> hey Kelly, what was that you were listening to? That sounded good. It's nothing. Nothing? It sounded like nothing to me. Yeah, me neither. What was it? Oh, it's, it's nothing. <laughs> Kelly, were you listening to some song that's supposed to be a secret? No, it's not a secret. Yeah, because I love music, all kinds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kelly, me too. Yes, ma'am, I love music. You know, God did a great thing by creating music for our ears to hear. And uh, speaking of ears, my and Shoe would like to hear more of that song you were just playing. No, you wouldn't want to hear it. Just forget about it. Did you hear that, guys? She wants us to just um, forget about it. Yeah, I thought I heard her say that. Yeah, I thought I heard her say it too. Now, you know we're not going to let you off the hook that easily. Yeah, uh, Kelly, you ought to know us better than that. We're not going to stop asking you about that song until you let us hear it. So you might as well just save us all some time and pestering and tell us what you were listening to. Well, I told you it was nothing. Okay. Travis, Seth, it is quite obvious that our lovely Miss Kelly Abernathy does not want our ears hearing the tune that we heard when we came in this morning. So, to show all due respect to her, I think that we should just let this episode of our life subside and not say another word to her about it. Thank you. Sure thing. What was that, Seth? You, you want to hear the song? Gates. What? Just drop it. <laughs> Seth, don't you think there's something a little strange going on here? Strange? Yeah. I mean, here we are with our dear friend and co-worker, Miss Kelly Abernathy, and she refuses to give us the inside scoop on a particular tune that we heard while coming into work this morning just moments ago. You know what, Gates? That is strange. Okay, here's the deal. It's a song that I wrote in college and recorded at this really small studio years ago. It's a song you wrote? Yes. And sang? Yes, in college. Ooh, now we really have to hear this. Yeah, we are now definitely all ears. No, not so fast. First of all, I'd just be embarrassed to let you listen to it. And second of all, even if I did let you listen to it, I wouldn't want to be in the room at the same time that you heard it. Uh, now wait a minute, Kelly. You would be embarrassed to play it for us? Yeah. I'm surprised to hear that from you. I mean, you play all these different characters every week in the show. How can you be embarrassed? I just am. Look, if you wrote the song, you don't need our approval to think it's good. I mean, I'm sure if you wrote it, it's good no matter what we think of it. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, can we hear it? No. <laughs> Why not? 
I told you. I've got stuff I've got to do. Now you guys know we gotta hear that song. Yeah, but you heard her. Oh yeah. I heard her. Hey girl. Hey. How's it going? Good. Still sorting things out? No, I'm done. I'm going to take these back home and I'm gonna leave those CDs here. I just want you to know that I'm a little disappointed in you. Why? What did I do? Why do I have to hear about what's going on around here from the gossip columnists? Gossip columnists? Yes, the ones named John Gates, Travis Connors, and Seth Martin. Why didn't you tell me you recorded a song? Because I had forgotten about the CD until I ran across it in the box this morning. And you know, the jury's still out on whether or not I'm going to release it to the general public. What jury? Me. Can I hear it? No. No? Not yet. But they said they heard it this morning when they came in. Yeah, that's because I didn't know that they were here. Well, may I hear the song? After all, I am one of your best friends and probably your biggest fan. Flattery will get you nowhere. Kelly, this is me, remember? Yeah, I know. So when can I hear the song? Soon. Soon? When is soon? Soon. Today? Tomorrow? Next week? Next month? When is soon? Uh, maybe later today. Is that okay? Yeah, that's good. Thank you. I'll go tell the others. No. Hey, I, I didn't mean that everybody else could hear it. Andy? So, did you talk to her? Yep. What'd she say? Yep. All right, let's go hear it. Nope. But you just said yep. Yep. Well, which is it then? Yep. But you just said nope. It's yep, but nope right now. She said we could hear it maybe later today. Oh, we as in all of us? Yes, as in all of us. Good job, Andy. Yeah, thanks, Andy. You're welcome. Never send a man to do a woman's job. <gasps> oh. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't know why Kelly is so hesitant for us to hear it. I don't either. It doesn't seem like Kelly. She's never been that self-conscious before. Yeah, but it has to be some reason, though. Yep. Well, if it isn't our singer-songwriter, Miss Kelly Abernathy. Oh, not again. Oh, uh, you are Miss Kelly Abernathy. Uh, and you have written a song. And you did sing it, right? Right. Okay, so uh, that means that you are the person whom I addressed? Oh, come on. So can we hear it? Yeah, you guys are so... All right, you wolves. Look at this little lamb alone. <laughs> they said you had a number one hit? <laughs> Not quite, but I do have a scene that I want you to look over. Okay. My roommate in college was a guitarist. She also wrote songs. I really liked listening to her. And one night, I decided to write a song too. Ask her if she'd play it for me, which she did. And she even talked me into going to a recording studio. Now, I may have paid all of $50 to have this thing recorded. The song is about a girl trying to choose the right road in life. So my idea for a scene is to have someone on the road of life encountering the distractions that keep us from Christ. Have you got any of it written down? Yeah, actually I do. I jotted down a first draft. So if you like it, maybe we could run through it later? Sounds good to me. Well, it sounds good to me, too, but it would sound better if we could hear the song that the show is going to be based on. Okay, okay. Um, Rudy, I'm going to take an early lunch. Just don't listen to it while I'm here. And if you don't like it, don't tell me. Or just be gentle when you do. I'm really hesitant to let you guys listen to this. Why, Kelly? I don't know. I'm just afraid you're not going to like it. Well, I understand how she feels. I used to play in a band a few years ago, and we wrote some tunes, and it's hard to play a song for someone, especially someone you know, wondering whether they'll like it or not. And people have different tastes in music, and you know someone is just not going to like your particular style. Exactly. Well, you don't have to worry about me, because I like all kinds of music. 
Yeah, and you already know my taste in music is wide and diverse. Mm, yeah, you're wide, all right. What was that, Travis? Oh, I was just saying your taste is wide and diverse. That's right. Uh, I thought that's what you said. Okay, well, here's the CD. I'll see you guys later. I still can't believe she's so self-conscious about this. Well, like I said, I know how she feels. Yeah, but there's something more that she's not telling us. Well, while you try to figure it out, I'm going to go listen to Kelly's song. Okay, everybody. Uh, we will go over Kelly's scene again tomorrow, see if we can polish it up just a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm out of here. I will see you guys later. See you, Rudy. Good night. Take care. I'm out of here as well. Yeah, it's time for me to take off, too. See you guys. See you Bye. guys. Bye. I'm heading out, too. You coming? In a few minutes. I just want to finish this up. See you tomorrow. Okay, see ya. Everybody left already? Yeah, you just missed them. And nobody said goodbye to me? Well, you weren't here to say goodbye to. Yeah, that's right. Are you leaving now? Yeah. Okay, then. Goodbye. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Kelly. See ya. Hey, Kelly. I thought you left. I did. Can I ask you something? Sure. Are you all right? Yeah. No, seriously. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I was just checking. Thanks. I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, everybody, you ready to go through this? Yeah, we're ready. Kelly, you ready? Yeah, I think so. All right, I think let's treat this like a dress rehearsal. Let's go through as much of this as we've got, uh, top to bottom, no stopping. I got an offer for you. How would you like to make a million dollars? Someone as beautiful as you are? In fact, I think me and you can make a million dollars together. Who are you? I own three of the largest magazines in the world. And we're always looking for beautiful models, especially redheads. So what do you say? Yeah, what would I have to model? Well, anything, everything, and sometimes nothing. But that's not important. I want to make you a star. I want to make you famous. I want to make you a household name. Everyone's going to know who you are. But the most important thing is, you're gonna be rich. And all you have to do is sign on the dotted line. And once you do that, you'll never go back. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know? What's the no? I just offered you the opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah, I, I think I gotta stay where I'm at. I, I think I gotta stay on the road that I'm on. Yeah, but the road you're on is going nowhere. The road I'm trying to get you to stay on is a sure thing. And I'm positive that you'll be a beautiful model for my magazine. Yeah, no, I, I can't. I gotta go. Hey, 
was Helen beautiful? Hi. You look a little down and out. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. Just, just searching. So what you searching for, baby? I'm not sure. Yeah, well, I got what you need. So why don't you hang with me and I'll show you. Where would we go? Well, you see. I got things that'll pick you up and make you feel real good. You'll never feel the same again. I don't know. It's not to know. Lots of people doing what I offer. And once they're hooked, they're hooked. They can't get off. No, I can't. Why? I told you, lots of people are doing it. No, I, got, I gotta go. Hey, go where? I, I've gotta stay on this road that I'm on. Hey, baby, your road's going nowhere. My road's the way to go. No, I don't think so. Well, hello. Hi. Wow. You are one gorgeous lady. I don't think I've ever seen anyone as gorgeous as you. Thank you, you're too kind. Are you alone? Uh, yes. No ring on the finger, I see. Are you married yet? No. No, I, I haven't found the right one yet. Ah, until now. You know, I think that you and I could have a great life together. I think you and I should get married. <laughs> You don't even know me. Oh, what's to know? I'm attracted to you. I'm sure you're attracted to me. What else is there? There's a lot else. I want to know the man that I'm going to marry. And, and there's love and trust. Well, I'm trustworthy. And I love you already. I mean, you are a beautiful, <laughs> gorgeous woman. You don't even know me. Well, what do you say we go out tonight, then? We'll get to uh, know one another. No, I can't. Or you can't or you won't. Both. Hi. Hi. My name's Tracy. Well, I'm Kelly. Are you doing okay? I'm okay. What are you looking for? I don't know. Just looking. I think I know. What? What you're looking for. How do you know if I don't know? Because I was looking a few years ago and then he found me. He found you? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ. I don't understand. Everybody lives life, but most people don't even know where they're going or what they're looking for. Jesus said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. So what do you say, Kelly? I don't know. I need to think about that. Okay, so far so good, everybody. Um, I think just from watching it through, though, it needs to be a little bit longer. So I don't know if we need to add some dialogue or if needed, add some more characters. Maybe everybody could do a second round and we need an ending. Yes, but this was a fun one, Kelly, and I really like playing this guy with the money. <laughs> yeah, and it was okay playing the drug dealer, too. Not that I'm a promoter of such activity. <laughs> well, Kelly, those guys really like playing their characters, but I just happen to be mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea, Kelly, really is. A little comedy, a little drama. I think the audience will really connect with it. Yeah, I hope so. You okay, Kelly? Yeah, I'm fine. Kelly, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why do you guys keep asking? Well, we care about you. Just checking. Yeah, I'm fine. Just been a really tough week, that's all. Do you want to keep writing more on this on your own, or do you want everybody to chip in? Whatever, Rudy. Either way is fine with me. Kelly, what's wrong? I don't think I can do the show. Why not? 
Okay, Kelly, something is wrong. Now, what's the matter? I mean, we're here for you if we can help. It's the song. What about it? It's the story behind it. I grew up in a small town in northern Illinois. And the whole time I was there, nobody ever talked to me about Jesus or the Bible or the gospel, any of that. And I went to school about an hour away. It's small private university. My roommate was this awesome girl. Also happened to be a Christian. I just remember her always playing her guitar and reading her Bible. So she'd write these songs and sing them. They'd mention the Lord, but I don't remember them being specifically religious. Just one night I wrote a song, found a melody to it, and I asked her if she'd play it for me. She did, and that night, she asked me if she could talk to me about something. And she spoke to me about Jesus Christ. It was the first time that anyone had ever talked to me about him. Three days later, she was killed in a car accident. Drunk driver crossed the line and hit her head on, killed her instantly, she didn't stand a chance. At the funeral, her mom came up to me and gave me her Bible and started reading it. I became a Christian because of her. Four months later, it was like the light bulb went on and God started to let me understand who He is and who Christ is. And I was born again. So now you know. Kelly, uh, what was your roommate's name? Tracy. Her name was Tracy. So that's why I'm playing Tracy. Yeah. I know we talked about adding characters or dialogue or whatever, but I think we have our ending now. What do you mean, Rudy? After the scenes are done, Kelly, I, I think you should come down front and tell your story, just like you did. And sing the song. I wrote this song when I was 19 years old, and I was searching. I didn't know what I wanted in life or where I was going, and it seemed like there were a million roads to take. But the night that I played this song for Tracy, she spoke to me about Jesus Christ. Four months later, I realized that he was the road that I was searching for. This is my story. And now I'd like to share the song that began my journey. A Million Roads to Take. There's a million roads to take. There's a million roads to take. But I don't know which one is the life for me. There's a million roads to take There's a wonder in my eye But it's one that I have yet to clearly see There's a million roads to take There's so many things I like But I really don't know what I want to be There's a million roads to take and I don't know where to turn But I think the one I'm on holds the key I need a light that glows A shine that really shows I need to find the way in which to go I need someone who cares Someone who's always there I need to find to go I need a light 
light that glows, a shine that really shows. I need to find the way in which to go. I need someone who cares, someone who's always there. I need to find the way in which to go. From the million roads to take, from the million roads to take, I will find the one in life that's just for me. There's a road, there's a road, there's a road in life just for me. There's a road in life just for me.